Uh, JT Barrett and Braxton Miller are probably two of the more unique players you'll play all year. How do you hand, how do you replicate that on the scout team? It's hard. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's really hard. You know, we've got we got Chris Parker back there uh, playing some quarterback. Uh, we've got some guys rolling through. Um, you know, playing all those positions, but it's not easy to do. I mean, you're talking about two of the more dynamic football players in all of college football. So to take guys on your team that aren't starting or aren't playing a lot and, and think that you're going to be able to simulate it completely is hard. But, you know, the other thing we've done the last couple of weeks is, is some self-service. You know, we had the starters on offense, you know, the, running some plays with the defense, the starters on defense running some looks for the offense, uh, a little bit more of a pro model. But I, I think that is, uh, that's served us well. I think that's been good for us to get the quality of the work. Ezekiel Elliott, is he as good of a running back as Bill Pace? I think he is. Yeah, and we've seen some good in the last couple of years. I think he's right, right in the conversation with all those guys. You know, he he has all the attributes of a running of of what makes a a dominant running back, and and then he's got the physical stature to go with it. Not all those guys I think have the stature that he does. So you said Carew didn't practice yesterday. Was he able to do any more today? He did a little bit more today. Uh, not enough to get him out here on the field, but he's moving in the right direction. Whether that means it'll be fast enough to get him on the field Saturday, you know, we won't know that later in the week. Do you have like a guideline in mind how many times guys have practice or is it case by case? I think it's case by case. You know, for a younger player, you'd like to see him out there. Um, somebody like Leonte who's played so much football, I don't really have a concern. Do you think the players are aware when they come out to the field the first time that the stadium's full as opposed to some of the sometimes late arriving Rutgers crowds? Oh, there's no question. Yeah, there's no question. I, you know, I said yesterday, I think we have the, the, the best primetime atmosphere in all of college football, and I believe that. And I've seen enough of them over the last 11 seasons. And when you're coming out for warm-ups and and the stadium's just about full, and the student section is full, and, and they're they're elevating the emotional level of everybody in the program. So there's no question they're, they're a tremendous advantage for us at home. Kyle, you've obviously had to play some true freshmen right out of the gates. Is it different when you throw them into the fire if someone had to play, say, today after not playing in the first six games? Experience always helps. Yeah, that, that would be the answer, I think, to that question. You know, the more experience you have, you know, the less they play like freshmen. You know, we've seen that with some of the guys who've played early. Um, a guy like John Baddock, he's getting better every week, so he's had the advantage. Um, you know, but as, as we continue to go forward, if, if some of these other freshmen get activated and have to play for us, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. You, you understand that anytime you put a young guy in the game, uh, there's going to be some things that are going to happen that aren't going to be perfect, and you just got to keep coaching through it. How's the secondary looked in practice with some of the changes we might see for Saturday? I'm pleased. I'm pleased with where they are. I think they're all working. And, and my expectation level is that they just come out and continue to work, continue to work on the game plan, how they fit into the game plan, and, and then give us great effort every day and just continue to improve. Kyle, are there any moral victories against the number one team in the country, or is winning the only thing that can really move this team, team forward? We, we don't put our mind on any of those things. All we're, all we're trying to do is come out on Saturday night and, and play to the best of our ability uh, to win the situations that we know ultimately create a 1-0 situation for us on Saturday. And we look at that, all our focus goes on the things like drive start, turnovers, explosive plays. Uh, there's no moral victories in, in major college football. It's not, it's not something we ever talk about. Thank you. Thank you.